Hey guys, so today I am going to be putting a chunky glitter onto this 20 ounce skinny. I have spray painted it um, like a lavender color and it's dried for about 48 hours. So if you're going to use spray paint, totally fine. You just have to wait to move forward for about 24 to 48 hours um, because it just needs to fully dry and all the chemical reactions need to take place. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So I'm going to be using my Extreme Protection um, to get my glitter on my cup. If you don't have the Extreme Protection, you could also use the, the Bright Tone. Um, it's totally up to you, um, whichever way is going to work best. So I'm going to be applying this chunky uh, glitter. It's from Painted Valley Designs, and it's got... It's like an opal glitter, so but it has like some purpley blue hues to it. So I should be able to see the lavender underneath. I think it'll be really pretty, but we'll see. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get a nice coat of the Extreme Protection onto my cup. I want full coverage. I want there to be enough for it to self-level. Now for this particular cup, I spray painted it, but I didn't worry too much about like some of the imperfections, like particularly, specifically this one, I dropped it in the grass. Um, so you can kind of see, I wiped it off, but like it sort of messed up the paint a little bit, but I'm putting glitter over it, so I didn't really care. Plus the cup is for me, so it's like no big deal. If you aren't going to put glitter over it and you want to spray paint it, doing a few thin coats, like three different coats with very light um, layers will help prevent any dripping. I have done that before and it helps with the drip. So if you're going to, you don't want any drip marks if you're not putting glitter on it. You want to make sure you have some of your either I'm using the extreme protection but either the extreme protection or the bright tones um, top coat everywhere you don't want to leave any bit uncoated Okay, and then I'm going to let it spin for a few minutes so it can even out. Um, I don't know, you can see kind of how it has some ripples. I want it to self-level, so I'm going to let it do that, and then I'm going to add the glitter. So it's been a couple of minutes, and what I've done is I've mixed my Chunky with some matching fine um, glitter. It's the same exact color, so a lot of the glitter companies have um, pairings so I'm going to just sprinkle from pretty far away from the cup sorry I'm definitely in the way and I'm going to cover my cup with the glitter so I'm gonna pause and do that because it's hard to see um, with where I'm pouring and what's happening. Okay, so I went through and I glittered everything and holy cow, it is gorgeous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my silicone brush and tap down any glitter 
that I see standing up as best I can. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it helps later on with the number of coats you have if you tap it down. The other thing that helps is sprinkling it from far away um, because by the time it hits the cup it just lays that much flatter. So this is only going to need one coat, and that's largely due to the fact that I mixed in the fine with the chunky, and that way it fills in any gaps, so if you have that option. Plus the opal glitter, you're supposed to see the lavender through it, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is let this spin for probably an hour or two. Um, and then I will transfer it to my drying rack. And when I'm done, I'm going to seal up the glitter. And I'll be back for that step in about four hours. So I want it to dry for four hours before I do anything else. I am just going to run my finger along the edge to make sure there's no glitter poking up. So what I did was sprayed, shake it really good, spray down with the E6000 pump spray, and then you're going to flatten your glitter. So if you are coming from epoxy, you probably have done this with your chunkies before, maybe with some clear coat, okay, and you're just going to roll and flatten. So one major difference is that sorry, I should finish with the paper first. One major difference is that you're going to do this with all your glitters um, and not just chunky. Like with epoxy, I would have only done this with a chunky glitter. Okay, so I sprayed. I waited about 20 minutes and then I rolled so then I'm gonna spray again right now I'll show you just a nice mist it will dry clear okay I'm gonna wait another 20 minutes and then I'm gonna roll it again when I'm done with that I will spray one last time. So it is spray, wait, roll, spray, wait, roll, spray. And then I'm going to let it um, dry overnight. And then I will start sealing. Looks pretty good, huh? Okay, so it has been drying overnight. I have done, that's just kind of where I was at in my day. Um, to let that happen. Um, but you can start doing your sealers after about an hour. So it's very important that you seal your glitter um, because if you don't and you start um, putting on your extreme protection, which I'm using, or you can use your bright tone, your glitter is going to come right off. Um, if you look at one, if you look at one of my previous videos, um, you can see when I applied my glitter, like it literally all came off. So I would seal every glitter, no matter what, um, to make sure that you don't have that issue. Okay. So this is my first layer on top of my chunky glitter. Remember. 
their thin layers. So you're going to do several. It'll probably take me four or five coats to get over this chunky glitter. So I do have a couple of pieces that are sticking up now, so I'm just going through and tapping them down as much as I can. Um, and it's not going to be perfect, um, and that's okay. Um, it's just going to help in the long run. <laughs> Alright, so every coat um, let it spin for about an hour and then you're going to um, after it spins for an hour you can transfer to a drying rack um, and then it can finish it drying out there you want it to dry at least two to four hours in between coats I like to wait four because I just feel like in the long run if I wait longer between layers it takes less time to be fully cured at the end um, I'm just going to run my finger over the top to make sure I don't have any product spilling over. Um, and then I'm going to do a few more layers and off the camera and I'll come back when um, I have a better update. Okay. Okay, so I have done five coats of the Extreme Protection. I will say normally I would do less. I would do like four and then switch to the Bright Tone, but I have a lot of this and I'm trying to get rid of it, so I figure I might as well just use it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 400 grit sandpaper and sand it down. It's a light sand. Like barely any pressure. But you do just want to make sure that your glitter, glitter is colored, like fully covered, sorry. Um, and you're just sanding like out little bumps. not your actual glitter. I should feel pretty smooth. I do have a couple random pieces of glitter that are sticking up, so that's annoying, but I'm just gonna leave them for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this with water, just water, rinse it off, dry it with a coffee filter, and then I'm going to start doing, um, I'm going to do, oh, that's the wrong one, um, two coats of the Bright Tone, um, and then it would be ready for Oops, a decal. I don't know what I'm going to do on this cup yet, um, but I'll be back once I have washed it and done those coats. So what I ended up doing was doing one additional coat of the Bright Tone, and I don't know if I'm going to put a decal on this. What do you guys think? Um, I might just leave it as is. I'm, it's good to go. Just got to let it fully dry for a couple days. Um, but the cup is for me, so let me know in the comments below if you think I should put my name on it or what color and, and all that jazz. Um, I'd be happy. I'm looking forward to hearing your suggestions because I really don't know what I want to do.
hopefully this tutorial helped. Um, again, I spray painted. Um, I used like a lilac, lavender type Rust-Oleum. Let it dry for 48 hours and then I applied my extreme protection and I sprinkled on my chunky glitter mixed some fine in it right that's the key to get you good coverage on that first try is if you get the matching fine glitter to go with your chunky most glitter suppliers have that information if not on their website in their Facebook group so you can easily match up glitters um, and then I, on this particular cup, applied five coats of extreme protection, which is usually, I would say, more than the average person. But remember, I'm just trying to get rid of my stash. And then I did a coat of bright tone. I sanded. And then I just did another last coat. Um, if I put a decal on that, I'll need probably about four more coats of the bright tone to cover that completely. Um, but I'm not sure. So let me know what you think and what I should do. Um, in the comments so below, here thanks is for watching. The final product. Hopefully it helped. Let what me know you guys if you have think? any other questions. Let me know if I should add a decal or I should just leave it as is. I think it turned out so great.